IAVS starts with a fish tank. Fish provide the nutrients that feed the plants. And a sand biofilter in which the plants are grown. Furrows are created in the sand bed to ensure even distribution of water and fish wastes across the bed and to keep plant crowns out of the water and away from the fish waste. At predetermined intervals, water moves fish wastes from the fish tank to the sand biofilter grow bed. The water enters the sand bed and makes its way along the furrows. Within about 15 minutes, the beds are saturated. As the water spreads across the surface, it percolates down through the sand and the particulate wastes are trapped on the surface. And water is draining freely from the bottom of the sand bed and back into the fish tank by gravity. As the water drains from the bed, a full charge of fresh air is drawn down through the ridges of the furrows. This unique feature of IAVS works to benefit the plants and soil microbes and ultimately the fish. The irrigation process, about 30 minutes to flood and drain and 90 minutes of oxygen availability, is repeated every two hours during daylight. A handful of healthy soil contains an estimated 10 to 100 billion bacteria. The soil bacteria make the nutrients in the fish waste available to the plants. To ensure complete removal of all the fish waste from the tank, the bottom needs to be U or V shaped. Adjust the source water pH to 6.4 before adding it to the fish tank. pH at 6.4 is extremely important for availability of nutrients and a buffer against ammonia spikes. Air pump and stones are added to the fish tank. Start with 80 to 100 fingerlings with a 1,000 liter fish tank and a 2,000 liter grow bed. The bottom of the grow bed must be sloped two centimeters per meter to allow complete drainage. The depth of the sand on the shallow end is 30 centimeters or 12 inches. Sand must be inert with no silt, no clay, and no fine sand. A slit drain is cut into the liner at the bottom side wall of the grow bed. A slit drain allows unrestricted, rapid, and complete drainage of the grow bed after each irrigation cycle and aerates the water. No bell siphon, no mechanical filter, no uniseals, no plumbing connections, no waste. Irrigation schedule is 15 minutes every two hours, eight irrigation events per day. There is no irrigation at night.
Organic matter is trapped on the surface of the furrows and the sand below stays clean. There is no clogging. Algae on the biofilter surface stabilize water nutrients. They grow quickly when young, outpacing plants' uptake, but decline as plants mature and absorb more nutrients. Algae serve as a self-regulating buffer, storing nutrients during the slow plant growth and releasing them when needed. Algae are great at storing nutrient for later, particularly phosphorus. Think of them as little bio batteries or time released micro bags of fertilizer. Dr. McMurtry. Sand never needs cleaning and it never needs replacing. The sand used in the IAVS research had a volumetric surface area greater than 6,900 meters squared per cubic meter. Consequently, its surface area is over 19 times larger than that of 9.5 millimeter or 3 eighths of an inch pea gravel and more than seven times larger than that of 16 millimeter LECA clay balls. Systems have run continuously for over 30 years. IAVS facilities develop into mature ecosystems within about three months. pH stabilizes at about 6.4 without needing constant adjustments. No added fertilizer or supplements. Fish are fed twice per day, first feed at 6.30 a.m. and the last feed at 1.30 p.m. No feeding after 2 p.m. Fish are fed all they can eat within 10 minutes. IAVS is designed to keep it simple. No complex water management. IAVS is 90% horticulture or growing plants. Fifty percent of the plants need to be fruiting varieties to ensure adequate nutrient removal. Maintain a mixture of plants at different ages as well as different growth stages. pH stability is provided by the plants. Do not harvest all the plants at the same time or pH will drop rapidly.
IAVS has the capacity to produce fish and fresh vegetables sufficient to provide a family with 200 kilograms of fish and 1,400 kilograms of vegetables and fruit per year in a 28 square meter system. IAVS was developed by a team of scientists, 10 of them awarded as fellows. IAVS was the first successful closed loop recirculating system invented. IAVS is backed by a decade of published and peer-reviewed research. IAVS was specifically developed and protected to be and remain open sourced for the benefit of people in true need of improving their personal food security, particularly for those in dire circumstance and challenging environments. Dr. McMurtry. For every kilogram of fish feed, IAVS can yield approximately 0.75 kilograms of fish and 7 kilograms of fruits and vegetables. Yields of 50 to 150 kilograms per meter squared per year for vegetables are achievable, vastly exceeding conventional methods. IAVS is highly adaptable to diverse climates, from arid deserts to humid tropics and temperate zones. Success depends on tailoring system design and management, such as shading, insulation, ventilation, and water management to local temperature, sunlight, humidity, and rainfall conditions. Of course, some claims made by Dr. Mark McMurtry almost 40 years ago now uh, that that system would remain stable once it's settled down is we're finding to be absolutely true. Our pH has settled to about 6.4. We, we don't have to make any pH adjustments. And, uh, and the whole system now, we have never, ever added any additives whatsoever. But to since it. then, we've added nothing. No potassium, no calcium, no iron. No phosphorus added, nothing, and, and we're getting fantastic commercial uh, testing results. So we're, we're getting terrific results, and it's just so simple. It just works. I say this very cautiously still, but I believe it's probably the way of the future for aquaponics.
It's extremely simple and uh, it works very, very well. We get massive tomato growth, good fruit setting. So I'd be really keen for someone to try cannabis in it to see how it goes. Visit the website at www.iavs.info and learn for free, supported and run by volunteers. Make a donation and get lifetime access to the IAVS Handbook. And exclusive access to support.